Hey everyone, Amy with Table Flipping Housewife. I'm so pleased you joined me today. What I wanted to do was to explain why I have been missing for some time uh, and not posting regularly. Back about five weeks ago, I had the first of two foot surgeries to address arthritis in both of my feet. Now the content you're about to see was filmed prior to that surgery and I just assumed that those first two weeks while I was laid up I would edit that content and I just couldn't do it. The recovery was far more intense than I had even anticipated. And then once I was feeling better, I wanted to get out and work on the next few projects, which I've been doing. But um, I thought I better get around to editing this and getting it out. So um, you'll see me in a boot for some time. Um, I'm in it now. I'll get it off in about a week. And then in November, late November, I'll have surgery for my other foot. Anyway, sit back and enjoy what I'm presenting today. I got this dresser at Goodwill yesterday. The piece um, is has very, very good bones. All three drawers work beautifully. All of the glides are there and they are dovetailed. It does have some scratch marks there. It looks like it has a little bit of a burn mark there. The biggest injury is over here where clearly a doggy has chewed on this leg. You can tell their mouths just went <laughs> Yep, but I can fix that too. I have some ideas for it and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the first thing that I did when I brought it home is I set out to clean it. I removed all the drawers and removed all the hardware as well and then I vacuumed out the piece, the inside and underside of the drawers and the desk. Then I cleaned it with a good degreaser. I use Dawn dish detergent and warm water to clean all the areas that I would be painting and then I quickly rinsed that with clean fresh water. I'm going to cut off a sliver of this quick wood. It's an epoxy. And once you mix the two elements together, it activates it to become hard. So you knead it until it's one uniform color like this. And then you add it to your piece. I try to use this with gloves on, but I find that I can't adequately knead the two elements together very well, so bare hands it is. I'll have to use my Dremel once this dries to recreate this line through it. All right, well this is pretty thick. This is a very thick application. I'm sure it will take a while to thoroughly dry and cure. So I'm going to leave this until tomorrow to sand smooth. I know, looks like a hot mess, but it'll be good. This is the next day and the quick wood is dry. It's ready for me to shape it. And I brought my sander out here because I was going to sand it out in the garage while I wait for someone to pick up this piece of furniture. But I'm already sweating and the bugs are already biting me. So I knew not going to happen. So I'll move the desk into the comfort of our basement where I will smooth out the quick wood and then scuff sand the rest and prep for painting. It is 10 o'clock on a school night, it's Sunday night, and I should be in bed, but instead I'm about to put my first coat of primer on my desk. I'm going to paint it on, roll it smooth, and I'll get one coat on today.
next day, so the primer has dried and I've noticed there are areas on here that are dark. I don't know if this is bleed through or from where I sanded it. I will spot spray these areas with shellac to seal that up properly in the event that this is bleed through. And when it dries, then I'll put the second coat of primer. But before I do that, I'm going to run my hand over the surface of the desk to see what might need to be lightly sanded and wiped away before I spot spray with a shellac and then later add the second coat of primer. Now this is where I patched where that puppy dog or whatever had chewed on it and it's a little rough. I will sand it smooth but this truly the majority of that is just a discoloration where the um, quick wood is. Now this was bad damage and I think overall it looks very, very good. There's a spot here I need to smooth out a little bit, but um, this discoloration will disappear once I put the paint on. Even probably the second coat of primer will cover that up. But I am going to finish sanding this. I'll treat this spot with some shellac as well. And then that second coat of primer, but I am pleased. I think it looks pretty good. So this is the last of the second coat of primer. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, that's a fan I'm ventilating with an open window. The wind is picking up, but I'm determined to spray at least the first coat of paint on the desks. Now I'm going to be using my all time favorite black, which is Sherwin Williams version of caviar. And I'm using Valspar's cabinet and furniture paint, my favorite. I've already put it in my Wagner Flexio. I've filtered it and added a little bit of water as well. Now I'm going to start with the desk upside down so I can get the legs. And then somehow I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna spray the rest of it. cabinet and furniture paint has a built-in protectant, a built-in top coat, but it does take 30 days to fully cure. So I do like to mix in a little polycrylic in the paint just to give it a little bit of protection while the paint is curing. And then I may spray it with just a polycrylic as well. We'll see how it looks.
I can tell I have quite a bit of paint left. So if I end up seeing striations, then when I apply the second coat, I will go side to side to mask those marks, but hopefully that won't be necessary. These are the handles that came off of the desk and eventually they're going to be gold, but I need to clean them. The best way to do to clean hardware is to put in equal parts vinegar and water and bring it to a boil. Let them boil about 10 minutes and then the paint will scrub right off. And if it still looks like you need a little extra help, Bark Keeper's Friend with a damp toothbrush will polish it up just nicely. You scrub it with your brush, rinse it with water, and it comes out like new. This is the last handle that I need to reattach, and then I'm done with the desk. I think it came out beautifully. Now, if this is the kind of content that interests you, then go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the like button as well. And if you have any questions or any constructive comments, please leave me one below. It's been a lot of fun reading them, and I like to respond to every single one. And we're done.